Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a barn owl. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the top part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. On the bottom right side, make a small mark for the lower section of the body. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the lower section of the body. This guide should be similar to an upside down arc. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. At the top, draw a circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First, make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The two circles should be about the same size. Place this circle slightly to the left of the body. Inside the head circle, draw a curved vertical line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Now draw a curved horizontal line for another construction guide. Connect the two circles using sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. The shape of the neck should be thick. Under the body, draw a short line as a guide for the leg. At the bottom of the leg, draw three shorter lines as guides for the toes. On the bottom right side, draw a small arc as a guide for the tip of the folded wing. This guide should be similar to an upside down arc. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Use the initial lines as guides to help you position the eyes inside the head. Place the eye on the left closer to the vertical line. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. As you darken the shapes, make the sides pointy for the corners of the eyes. The eye on the left should be slightly thinner. Inside each eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for highlights. In the middle of each eye, draw a bigger circle for the pupils. Shade in the pupils but don't overlap the tiny highlight circles. Shade in the rest of the eyes. Use a value that's slightly lighter than the pupils when you shade the eyes. On the bottom half of the head, lightly sketch a V-shaped line for the beak. Place the beak to the right of the vertical construction guide. Pay attention to how small the beak is in relation to the head. When you get the shape of the beak right, darken the lines. Make the shape of the beak curved as you darken the lines. Draw a series of short strokes along the top part of the beak for the feathery base. Draw more strokes from the beak to the eyes for the feathery section on the face. The lines in the beak should form a shape similar to the letter V. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Add more short strokes along the vertical construction guide for more feathers. 
lightly sketch a circular shape for the facial disc inside the head. Follow the path of the initial circle to draw this shape. Curve the top part of this shape down toward the vertical line. The shape should be similar to a heart with a rounded bottom edge. Darken the facial disc when you get the shape right. Use a series of short strokes for a feathery texture. This disc of feathers helps the owls collect sound waves. Add more lines around the facial disc to emphasize the shape. The edges of the facial disc should be close to the outer edges of the initial head circle. Use the initial shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the head. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. Make the shape of the head slightly flatter than the initial circle. Lightly sketch a long curved line across the body for the folded wing. This line should connect to the small arc on the bottom right side. When you get the shape of the wing right, darken the lines. Draw curved lines as you darken the shape for feathers. Draw a long sloping line across the shape of the wing for the feathers. Draw short curved lines across the entire wing to emphasize the individual feathers. Use the lines under the body as guides to draw the leg. Lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Keep the edges of the leg close to the guidelines so that the overall shape is thin. When you get the shape right, darken the leg using short strokes for a feathery texture. Draw the toes at the bottom around the initial guidelines. Make the toes thin as you draw the shapes around the guides. On the tip of the toes, draw small pointy shapes for the talons. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. To the right, draw the leg that's on the other side of the body. Use the first leg as a template to draw this leg. A big part of this leg will be hidden behind the first leg, so only draw the visible section. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Curve the shape on the left side for the chest. Add a short curved line on the left side for the other folded wing. On the bottom right side of the body, draw short curved lines for the visible part of the tail. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a darker value to shade the edge of the facial disc. Shade the main part of the body using a medium value. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. 
Draw a series of small oval-like shapes for the pattern on the wings. Make the tops of these ovals thick and dark. Gradually add a darker value. Add a lighter value to the rest of the body. Use strokes that go in the direction of the feathers as you shade. The feathers on the head radiate outward from the beak. Add some shadows throughout the body using a medium value. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the barn owl. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.